So a particle starts at negative 1, negative 1 on the equation y of x equals x cubed and travels until <clears throat> it gets to the point 2, 8. Okay. At the rate given by So this one is the rate of how, f how fast the x is changing as a function of time. OK, so we're go we want to analyze this as fully as possible. You know what? Let me do this. Let me change this one so that it's not necessarily cube like that one. Let me, OK, let's change this to uh, the fourth. And it'll be different than that. So dx dt is t to the fourth. Okay, so let's calculate here A. What is the distance, displacement, of the particle? So that'll be part A. B. What is the average speed? Now, in this, in this problem, we're not going to have different stages. It's just going to be one stage. The particle starts at a certain point, goes to the, uh, and then ends up at two weights. So just one stage. What is the average speed? What is the average velocity? And what is the average acceleration? And then C. What is the initial speed, final speed, initial velocity, final velocity, initial acceleration, final acceleration? OK. So let's draw a rough idea of what's going on here so we can see the particle starting at negative 1, 1. So this is the graph of y equals x cubed, right? So the, the graph goes something like this. So way out, way out over there. The particle, is, the particle is traversing a path given by that equation. Okay, what most likely is happening too is probably it's on some kind of surface given by that equation. The particle is constrained to move on that surface, you know, under the influence of some, of some force. So um, let's see here. The distance that, that's the first thing that we can do is find out the distance that the particle is doing, is uh, taking, right? So the equation here is uh, y equals x cubed we got to use the arc length formula, right, for the distance. D equals integral negative 1 to, it starts at negative 1, negative 1, negative 1 to 2, this is 2, 8, and then square root of 1 plus, the equation is x cubed, right, so take the derivative of that with 3x squared. But then you got to square the derivative, which gives you 9x to the fourth dx. So the integral of 1 plus 9x to the fourth square root from negative 1 to 2. 
Okay, and now we're going to go over and I'll show you again that on the TI how to set this up. Depending on your TI, again, it might be some differences. The last time we tried the TI, we learned how to do the quadratic equation. And, and uh, so throughout the semester, we'll have days where we'll learn different features. So we have here, I'm going to put this one. Uh, let's see here. Let's put this one right here. 